Hello and welcome to our overview of Card Exchange Producer. Here we have the main window as it would load when you first run the application. At the top of the screen we have a standard ribbon interface. On the left of the screen we have a list of all of our loaded cards. We have a list of all the records loaded from the database. We have a preview of the card design. At the bottom we have the database view where we can edit records and insert new records. And on the right we have an actions pane with shortcuts for things like taking a photo and printing a card. If we look at the main ribbon, under the print tab we have a printer options where we can choose the printer and contact this encoder. We have options to print the card, load the printer properties or export a preview of the card design. We have options to print directly to other printers and we can configure start and stop automated printing. Under the data tab we have edit options where we can set some default options. You can search for records from the database as well as changing the sort order. There are options to show the database record pane and the manual entry pane and you can configure and enable the different database filters. Under the photos tab we have options to set the default camera and also enable the image editor and the automatic face recognition. There are also buttons to take photo, import photo from file and some other basic options such as editing photo, copying and pasting. Under the signatures tab we have signature options where we can select the signature tab being used and we have actions where we can capture signature, import signature from file and again some basic options such as editing the signature, copying and pasting. Under the biometric tab we have biometric options where we can select the reader, we can click on enroll biometric to scan a new fingerprint and we can also click on verify to scan the fingerprint and show the photo from that record. Under the ID scan tab we can again click on options to select the ID scanner being used and we can scan the document or remove the document if it's no longer required. Under the configuration tab we have some advanced options where you can enable advanced mappings and set things like the maximum image size or contactless encoder positions. We have the card manager where we can manage the card templates. We can click on new card to start the create a card wizard and we have options to export, import and duplicate templates. We can load the card designer to edit the card design and we can load the database setup wizard. And we can enable and configure the logins feature to set up permissions for individual users or groups. Under the view tab you can change the zoom settings for the card preview. You can set the language as well as restore the default view. And you can customise the view by showing or hiding any of the available panes. Under the service centre tab we can refresh the news items. There are links to our online help file, end user forum and video tutorials such as this one. You can activate and register the software. You can compare editions on our website and you can see information about card exchange such as the installed version and the edition. Thank you for watching. You can find other tutorials on our website, carlexchangesolutions.com.